Hi, boys and girls. Here we are with another gorgeous day. Perfect days to be outside. I'll bet some of you have even gone camping, and if you haven't had the chance, maybe someday you will, but we've all had chances to go outside and take a walk, your neighborhood, or at the nature center, and just to feel the calm and the quiet, just like here. You can hear a few little birds, maybe a car going by, but it's very quiet and peaceful. Well, speaking of peace and quiet, have you ever met somebody who is quite the chatterbox? Chatter, chatter, chatter. And that means they talk a lot. Well, in my story today, I have somebody I would like you to meet. And right at the beginning of my book, it says, Hi there, I'm Wordy Birdie. Boy, oh boy, do I have a story for you. It involves my friends and camping and mashed potatoes and wishing stars and wait, did I mention Mr. Cougar Pants? Oh, and I give this book the Wordy Birdie seal of approval, just so you know, it's a super fancy award. And guess what? It's right here this second. It's time, it's time we're gonna read the book. Oh my goodness. The name of our book is Wordy Birdie meets Mr. Cougar Pants. I wonder about this Wordy Birdie chatterbox. Let's check this out. In case you haven't heard, this is Wordy Birdie. I love my name, Wordy Birdie, Wordy Birdie, Wordy Birdie. Hey, that rhymes like cat and bat and rat and sat and rhinoceros and splat and, oh, wait a minute. Can you hear what a chatterbox he's being? He had a lot to say. Wordy Birdie is a little chatty. A little chatty? Seriously? Okay, fine. Wordy Birdie is super chatty. She talks all day long, even when she shouldn't. Hey, did you guys see that new movie, the one with the super surprise ending? The treasure was in the backyard the whole time? See what we mean? That was Wordy Birdie so busy. His friends, oh my goodness, they listen and listen. One day, Wordy Birdie goes camping with her friends, and of course, she has a lot to say. Get comfy, readers. This might take a while. I love this trail. I love this stream, and I love this cloud, and I love that cloud, and I love my backpack, and I love the view, and I... Oh, goodness. Hours later... And I love the hills, and I love the tree, and I love that tree, and I love my friends, and I love the moon, and I love Jupiter. Do you get the picture? I think I do. Very chatty and wordy. Late that night, Squirrel rubs his eyes. Time for bed, everyone. So Squirrel goes to bed, Rabbit goes to bed, Raccoon goes to bed. Does Wordy Birdie go to bed? She does not. <gasps> hey, I almost forgot snacks. I brought pickles and bean burritos and pickle, more pickles and mashed potatoes and more pickles. <gasps> oh, and at last, Wordy Birdie finishes snacking and then Rabbit yawns. Good night, everybody. So Rabbit shuts his eyes. Raccoon shuts his eyes. Squirrel shuts his eyes. Does Wordy Birdie shut his eyes? She does not. Looky here, wishing stars. I wish I had a pony. I wish I had a yo-yo. Oh, I wish I had a tuba. I wish she'd go to sleep. At last, Woody Birdie finishes wishing. I have an idea though. Let's go play a quiet game. Raccoon gets quiet, squirrel gets quiet, rabbit gets quiet. Does Wordy Birdie get quiet when the big, hungry cougar wants to gobble them up? What? Uh-oh, here comes the cougar, and they look very, very frightened, don't they? Just so you know, Mr. Cougar Pants, 
rabbits taste terrible, raccoons taste terrible, and squirrels really, really, really taste terrible. And as for me, let's face it, I am just too adorable to eat. Just look at my beak and those eyeballs, and even my toes are cute. Perhaps I could interest you in a pickle and some mashed potatoes, or a bean burrito and a pickle, and did she just call me Mr. Cougar Pants? I think so. Mr. Cougar Pants cannot take this for one more minute. He turns and he flees into the deep, deep, peaceful woods. Wow, you saved us. Now that was a surprise ending. Sheesh, all I wanted was a nice, quiet dinner, says the cougar. Wordy Birdie is still chatty. Sometimes she's too chatty. That was the best night of my life. You are so brave. You were so brave. You were so brave. And I was so brave. And her friends wouldn't want it any other way. So her chattiness really saved their lives when that cougar said, never mind, I needed a quiet place for my dinner. So our little wordy birdie, oh boy, we had the best trip ever. Just look at those happy faces and this group hug. Oh, we went fishing and hiking and swimming. And then we had some mores and then we had some more s'mores. And we ate pickles and we had bean burritos and mashed potatoes and pickles. Oh, and you got to read my super favorite book because it's about me, said Wordy Birdie. So sometimes boys and girls were all different and just like Wordy Birdie, they wouldn't change her at all because they, she saved their lives. So be careful what you wish for and have a great week.